Hello, welcome to AWS Red Team Expert, the first certification of Hacktrix training. During this course, you will learn how to properly perform Red Team exercises over AWS infrastructure, but also how to audit from a white box perspective an AWS environment. This means that if you are giving, for example, read-only access over an AWS environment, you will be able to easily find all the misconfigurations and vulnerabilities so the environment can be properly secure. So this course doesn't have any hardcore requirement, but there are several things that will be recommended, such as basic net networking knowledge. You know that in cloud, you will be needing to configure some networking rules. And even if by default, everything is going to be working, is recommended from a security point of view to understand at least how networking works. Also, it's good to have some familiarity with Linux CLI, with Bash, uh, running commands inside a terminal. In the course, we will be mostly using the AWS CLI. And of course, it's recommended to have some kind of cybersecurity pen testing knowledge, uh, some kind of hacking mindset, in order to understand better the attacks that we are going to be performing. So, what to expect from this course? In this course, you are going to be finding more than 20 lessons. These are going to be videos and slides where you're going to be learning the basics of AWS, how to use and abuse different AWS services. For example, how to perform privilege escalation attacks, post exploitation, persistence, or even how to compromise AWS accounts externally, just abusing misconfiguration of the services. Also, please note that we are not going to be attacking AWS as a company, but just explaining how if you have enough permissions or uh, services misconfigured, this could be abused in a legit way inside AWS. Later, we are going to be talking about um, white box and black box or red team methodologies, where you will be learning how to perform a proper hardening pen test with read-only permissions and also how to perform red team engagements where you might start not knowing almost anything about the company and you need to compromise it from an external perspective. Finally, we are going to be talking about some AWS security services and even how to bypass common AWS detections. In every lesson, you are going to be finding several demos in order to understand better everything that is taught during the lesson. You are also going to be having access to more than 50 hands-on labs these are going to be laboratories where you're going to be able to practice what it taught during the lessons and even other scenarios. Laboratories are going to be in your own AWS account that we are going to be giving you whenever you start this certification and is not shared with any other student in Hacktrix training. Also notice that in case you run out of uh, time for laboratories, you're always going to be able to purchase laboratory extensions. Also, if at some point you have finalized the course or the certification and sometime later you would like to redo some laboratory or retest something, you are always going to be able to buy these extensions without needing to repurchasing the complete certification. Finally, in order to become Hacktrix Training AWS Red Team Expert Certified, you will need to pass an exam. Therefore, you will be getting one exam attend when purchasing the course. You will have 12 hours to perform the exam, while well, you will need to find several flags to pass it. The exercises will be similar, but not exactly as the one as in the labs of the black box section. Therefore, the exam is going to be a black box exercise. It is possible to send a pull request to Cloud Hacktrix with a new AWS technique, for example, a privilege escalation or a post exploitation technique that is not yet explained in Hacktrix, to reduce one, the number of needle flags to pass the exam in case the pull request gets approved. Please note that the pull request needs to be specifying a new privilege escalation, post exploitation or any technique that shows your AWS expertise in order to reduce one, the number of flags that you will need in order to pass the exam. This course is divided in four sections, being the section one, the AWS basics. During this section, we will be talking about basic AWS concepts and services, such as the hierarchy of organization, how AWS accounts work, AWS principles, users, groups, roles, or even the AM service. This is how permissions are being granted to users. These are very basic but important fundamentals to learn if you later want to continue develop your hacking skills over AWS. Obviously, to take this course, you don't need any previous AWS experience because we are actually going to start from the basics. 
In the second section, probably the biggest one, we are going to be talking about how to exploit AWS services. We are going to be covering more than 20 AWS services. We are going to start learning how its service work and then how you can enumerate it and use or abuse it to escalate privilege, to persist in the, ac in the account or to perform different post exploitation attacks. Obviously, depending on each AWS services and its capabilities, you are going to be able to do some things or other things. Note that even if AWS contains hundreds of services, just knowing about these more than 20 AWS services, you will know how 80% of companies' AWS environments work. So you will be ready to start auditing any kind of company AWS environment. In the third section, we will be discussing black and white box methodologies. A white box methodology is meant for a scenario where you are granted read-only permissions over an AWS account or an entire AWS organization, and you need to uncover all the misconfigurations and vulnerabilities as fast as possible. For that, we will be discussing several automatic tools you might be using and a white box methodology that will allow you to find these misconfigurations as fast as possible. Note that you will be finding a lot of different misconfigurations. In terms of black box methodology or red team methodology, we will be discussing how to properly perform red team assessments over AWS infrastructure. So imagine that a company have most of all of its infrastructure in AWS. We will be discussing how you can enumerate that, how you can try to find entry points, exploit those entry points and start moving laterally inside AWS, escalating privilege, post exploiting all your permissions until if you can, you manage to compromise the complete organization. In the last section of the course, we will be talking about some defense bypasses. Obviously, there are some AWS services that are being used to find malicious activities in AWS. So we will be talking about those services and how an attacker could try to bypass these services to not get detected. So who should attend this course? Well, any pen tester that would like to learn more about AWS hacking or even that want to get introduced in cloud, inside AWS cloud hacking should be definitely doing this course. In this course, we are going to discuss tens of different techniques to hack into AWS. And as you know, traditional infrastructure is being replaced by cloud providers and the biggest cloud provider is AWS. So I definitely encourage you to start this course. Also, any sysadmin or DevOps engineer that is working with AWS is invited to do this course because they should know how attackers could try to compromise an AWS environment so they can correctly protect it from the beginning. Moreover, any kind of tech professional that is interested in security in AWS should also be doing this course. So how you can get access to this course? You can just go to training.hacktrees.xyz, register and buy a voucher for the course. Note that the course doesn't start the moment you buy the voucher, but the moment you redeem it. So whenever you feel ready to start learning about AWS hacking, you just need to redeem the voucher and the fun will start. Also note that the moment you redeem the voucher, a private AWS account is going to be spin up with all the laboratories. So you might need to wait some minutes in order to get all the labs set up. Anyway, you will be granted immediate access to the videos so you can start the course the moment you redeem this voucher. If you are here because you have already bought a voucher and you are starting this course, well, welcome. I'm very sure you are going to have a lot of fun and you are going to learn a lot of cool techniques about AWS hacking.